Well, I want to share with you uh, a report I found today about Google. Now, Google is going to take $10 million and give it a grant to the AARP. You know, they're the old farts organization. <laughs> you know, at 50, you could join. And they're really going to train seniors for free 50 years or more on, you know, computer skills. Now, that's a pretty good deal, I would think. Uh, it's not going to start till March, so you have time to figure it out. But it's really what I'm trying to do is here is tell you the kinds of things that are out there. I mean, there's a, lots of other people doing this, uh, lots of people in your neighborhood doing this, so lots of money of government money, nonprofit money uh, that's going to go out uh, to help people get better jobs by getting better skills. And this is with the uh, Biden program is all about. We've always had them, too, but a lot of people don't know. Now, here, Google announced a $10 million grant uh, to be given to the AARP Foundation to provide technology and digital skills to about 25,000 people over 50 who have low income uh, to get a better jobs. The trainings will help increase older adults' economic security and social connections, okay, with the workshops and digital essentials to help them find and secure jobs, change career, or, listen to this, explore entrepreneurship. Okay, how do you find these things? That, that's the issue with all this. Because if you don't re read this obscure, you know, uh, press release, you'll never know about it. You know, unless you're inside somewhere and work for them, one of these companies or whatever. Well, there's two programs to find out about. One is the AARP Foundation. They're going to get the money. And then they give it to something called Older Adults Technology Services. How do you like that? Older adults, tech, here they are. So uh, so I'll send you all these links uh, or put them down in the description uh, so you have them. Uh, and the programs will roll out over the next two years in eight states, Arizona, Georgia, Illinois, Louisiana, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, and Texas. Okay. Uh, so contact those people at, at, at the AARP or the Older Adults Technology Services because they'll know more about it because it's just a press release and they're probably not always set up because it doesn't happen in March. But more importantly, uh, uh, look at the video that I connected to this. So it'll start right after I finish babbling here and it'll show you how to find programs like this where you live, okay? And that's the important thing. That's when you have to start learning. Uh, the tools to find these kind of skills. Because already now the government, the federal government has grants to give seniors uh, to get jobs. Actually, they pay the employees to hire you even. Stuff like that. Stuff you'd never uh, learn. And then, you know, computer skills for free, everything. So much training and job preparation, apprenticeships are all for free, but they take work on your part. And that's what you have to do. So look at the video that's coming after this, okay? And then uh, give me a call if you have any questions. <laughs> no. uh, but, you know, particularly Let's Go Help members. I mean, that's where I ask questions. Uh, let's go help, uh, dot com or let's go help to dot co. But if you're looking for just all the uh, and we we give you reports, so you could go there and, t and tell us what state you're in. We'll give you a full report of like 150 pages of all the sources uh, that are available in your state for a job and job training. And actually higher education, too. Uh, and, and really getting government jobs, too. That's another big growth with a good pension plan. <laughs> so that's available if you're a member. If you're not members, you can get those reports for five ninety five at lescoreports.com. That's lescoreports.com. Okay, so stay tuned. Watch, watch the next video, and then you won't have to give me any money at all because you'll know it all, and you can do it yourself. <laughs> Well, if you're looking in the right places, you're going to find more and more job opportunities like this one I was going to tell you about, or I'm about to tell you about, uh, because of the, they're pouring money into this. I mean, it, it's uh, whether it's Biden, whether it's a local politicians, national politicians, everybody, because people need better jobs. Uh, people need to be trained for better jobs. You know, and that's the government's job. <laughs> Speaking of better jobs, they should do a better job, right? Somebody's got to train these people. <laughs> but it's more important that the opportunities that are out there now and will be growing in this field, and they've always been there, but people just really only run into them by accident. It, it takes work on your side to find these things because the government doesn't go around knocking on doors. Hey, you want a better job? <laughs> no, no, no. And see, the only people who do that 
are the people who are going to charge you money to get you a better job. They're the people that knock on your door. The government isn't going to charge you money, so they don't have money to knock on your door. You know, the government isn't going to advertise in Google, so <laughs> Google is not going to try to find you for this uh, to get a better job. They find you for the people who give Google money, okay? <laughs> so the government does not give Google money. Now, here's a, a new one in Michigan, okay? Uh, and I actually called up the lady, a uh, woman answered, <laughs> about this program. Uh, and, okay, in response to local employer for workforce needs, you hear that? A local employer needs people, okay? So the local community college has two short-term training programs to get people to get these jobs that they need. Uh, and they're called fast track. <laughs> so a couple of weeks or whatever, short uh, training programs, uh, and you're get almost guaranteed job. One of the programs, 90% of the people that finish the course get a job. The other one, 100% of the people. Wow. And they pay for all the training. The government pays for the training because they, if, the, if they make the company happy to get trained people to do the work, company's going to make more money, right? <laughs> what do they do when they make extra money? Pay taxes. You're going to get a better job, pay higher wages. <laughs> and what are you going to do with higher wages? Pay higher taxes. Funny how that works, isn't it? <laughs> uh, and, and there's more demand for all businesses, so they need people. Uh, now, these two programs, they're registered to attend. They have a free face-to-face -face session. I mean, I know most of you are not in Michigan, but these are the kinds of things that happen. This is the kind of stuff that you have to look for. Uh, and there'll be representatives from local companies there, like Dow Chemical, DuPont, H. Uh, SC, uh, and it's on January 26th from 10 to 2. So you go there, find out all about it. Or if you have questions, you call them. Ah, here's the phone number. <laughs> you call them about the program. Uh, it's called, it's 833, well, you got the link, 833-531-1945. But here, okay, according to the press release, 13 weeks you can learn the skills needed to become a full-time chemical process operator, making up to $25 an hour. No degree, okay? No degree. And that's a job where 90% of the people uh, get get a job. And, and so if you're 10% don't, you still got training <laughs> for free. Uh, the requirements is a high school diploma or a GED. That's all. And if you don't have one of those, the same uh, career one stop will help you get one of those for free too. Uh, and it's a 13-week course. Part of it's hands-on. Part of it's in the classroom, uh, and it's fifty-four hundred dollars. But it, it, it's they have grants to pay for that for you, okay? Uh, and that's what you have to do. The other course is a little less, but only pays like sixteen bucks an hour, and, and the process is only eight days. Well, maybe that's a starter game. You know, sixteen bucks an hour isn't bad if you don't have a college degree. And in uh, the first class, eighty, a hundred percent of the people were offered employment. You take that class for a week, you get paid to take it, and then you get an automatic job, 16 bucks an hour. Ah, maybe it's good, maybe it's not, okay? The only requirement, high school diploma, GED, and must be 18 at least, okay? So that's out there. How do you find what's in your neighborhood, okay? Well, if you're a uh, Let's Go Help member, we have a report for every state, and, and it's for getting a job, uh, training, and education, and all the sources in your state. If you're not a member, I understand. <laughs> well, actually, if you're not a member, another place to get it is Let's Go Reports. Let me show you what that looks like. Um, you don't have to be a member for these. And then you go to Let's Go Reports here, and you can uh, click on, uh, for your state, uh, free training education to get a higher paying job. Okay. So you want that report? Five ninety five. dollars Okay. That's it. And you go down to your state, click on your state, and it'll be in, you know, in two minutes, you'll have that. Two seconds, sorry. It's all, you know, electronic stuff. Okay, now, if you want to do work yourself, you don't want to give Lesko any money. I understand. Uh, well, you're probably hurting for money, so maybe you should. Uh, the Career One Stop, you go there, find a, a free consultant. They have consultants there to help you learn about these training programs, help you get a job, all that kind of stuff. So that's the first place. 
then you have to find nonprofit organizations where you live that help people get a job, help people get training. And what to do, I would do is, see, they'll have jobs, job interviews, they have 80 different things they help you get a job with. But I would look at the training, go to job training, and most states will have, or cities, I'm saying, will have 20, 30 sites in them, okay? Uh, and you do that on 211.org, and then you go over here to findhelp.org. And you look at all those job training sites and you call each one of them. I know it's a pain in the ass. I know you hate to do it. You just like to click on somewhere and fill out a form and, oh, I'm a millionaire. And no, you'll never find the right one that way, okay? So you call each one of those people that are in the business of training, see if they can help you. If they say, no, this is only for people who want to learn how to sew. Actually, <laughs> you do. Uh, I did a report the other day on uh, free training to know how to sew. That's right, because we need that skill. Yeah, some people don't know how to sew anymore. <laughs> they just glue it, I guess, or, or or Velcro. Man, I'm a home sewer from way back. I know how to sew. I taught my, taught my two boys how to sew and everything. We even have machines all over the house. Uh, so anyway, you can learn that. Uh, and they and they say that's all we have. Oh, I don't want to sew. Hey. Who else do you think I should call? That's how you get the information. You call somebody you think are, or is in the business and training people and they don't want you, you don't want them, fine. <laughs> and you don't want to date each other, but you say, hey, do you have any pretty sisters? <laughs> do you know of anybody else that does training that maybe I, I could take advantage of? That's how you find this stuff. You know, it's really digging those ditches. If you ain't digging those ditches, you'll be living in a ditch and can't get out of it. Uh, so let me know if I can help.